was my friend. What do you want from me? I want to help you. Stop running for a minute. We can't. That fox is right behind us. I know. I wish we could keep moving and sit down at the same time. We can. Look. to go to the assignment. Open Mind Magazine. We'll have to risk it. Besides, now that we've lost everything but the camera, we need a job more than ever. There's a mini market over there. I'll get us some food. Okay. Yeah, do you have uh, burgers and stuff like that? Everything's in the cooler, son. Thanks. I can't understand how we lost them. They just disappeared. Ooh. Wiley, has it ever occurred to you that we are dealing with an intelligence infinitely beyond your wildest dreams? A being from a civilization where intergalactic travel seems commonplace? I know that. What are we going to do now? You're going to get some more coffee. And we're going to backtrack until we pick up the trail again. And then we start all over. Wiley, ten bucks on two. Where do the Wileys of the world come from? Uh, how do you work this thing? Well, you gotta adjust the equipment to the load there. Uh, one burger would be uh, three minutes on high, so uh, each additional burger probably had about forty-five seconds each. And, Coffee. Uh, you couldn't possibly have human parents. That's it. He's got a relative in the government. Someone in a high up position. Someone with absolute authority. Ham and cheese sandwiches, powdered donuts, beef jerky. Sandwiches in the cooler. Cream and sugar in this coffee? Black. Beef jerky? Six kinds. 
how could somebody with that much power have a kid like Wiley? That's pretty good. Tell me how to get to E Street and Highland Avenue. Sure, you cross the border, take the five freeway north of Chula Vista, get off at the E Street exit. Border? You took a wrong turn, pal. You're in Mexico. Hi, Greenleaf Nurseries? Hi, uh, my name is Scott, and I work at a gas station north of San Diego. Uh, one of your drivers purchased some gas for me uh, a little while ago, and he left his credit card here. And uh, I believe he was headed south. Could you tell me where I might send it to him? And Sonata? Mexico. 
Yeah, thanks. Bienvenidos. Deberían tener vergüenza, ¿no crees? Bienvenidos. I think my English will serve us better than your Spanish. My name is Tonita. Paul Forrester. Please, don't think badly of those children. I'm sorry they bothered you. Oh, they didn't bother me. All they know how to do is beg. It looked to me like they were pretty hungry. No, they were only pretending. What they wanted was your money. There is a small cafe over there. What? <laughs> Allow me to buy you a glass of sangria. Oh, uh, thank you, but no, I, uh, I have to leave. If... Just one glass, please. It would be very good for me if I could sit down for a little while. Please? You come here on business or on pleasure? I came here on accident. I lost my son. I have to find him. Oh, where is he? Where will you go? Um, San Diego. <laughs> you seem like a very nice man, Paul. That is why I don't think you would mind if I ask you a small favor. A favor? Yes. Uh, you're anxious to get back to San Diego, no? Yes. There must be room in your car for one person. One. And a little bit more. I'm sorry, I can't. You will not help me? A poor girl who wishes only to be with the father of her baby in San Diego? I don't have a car. What kind of an American are you with no car? How do you plan to cross the border if you have no car? Walk? You plan to walk to the border like a common bracero? I don't think this is a good time for you to be so excited. ¿Qué diablos es esto? No es posible. Carlos! ¡Suéltame! Yo sé quién los mando. Good morning, Paul. I can't do it. I can't marry you. I heard you and your father shouting outside. What? When I met you, you did not speak Spanish. Well, I've been learning. I don't know why he thinks I'm the father of your child. He had me followed, and when he saw me talking to you, he thought... Why didn't you tell him? I didn't have a chance. Paul, please, can't you help me? No, I can't. My son is out there all alone, and he needs me. I only want to be with the father of my child. You don't have much time. 
we agree on something. But you have to understand. I understand more than you think. The baby should be born with her father. Her father? You think it's a girl? Yes. You sound so certain. It's scary. Tonita, all I want is to get my things and leave. I'm not asking you to do anything that cannot be undone. Paul, it's my only chance. I have to see the father of my baby. Who is your baby's father? Why doesn't he come here? He's an archaeologist. We fell in love when I was a student in Mexico City. When I found out I was pregnant, I wrote to him, but he's never written me back. Paul, please. I love him, and I know he'd love this baby. You have a son. You must know what I'm feeling. Yes, I do. But that's why I can't help you. My son is out there alone somewhere. He needs me. I've got to go find him. I'm sorry, Tonita, but I cannot marry you. I will find your things. And I will take care of myself. Todos los portones están bien. Sí, mi hija. Señor Cordoba, buenos días. Perdón, la señorita me mandó para que le entregue. Um, she asked me to give you that. Gracias. I don't know why you're so mad at me. I helped you to escape. I'm not mad at you. But you act as if you don't trust me. I don't. But why? Because you're selfish, you're inconsiderate, and what I think my son would call a brat. You have no feelings. All I want is to be with Richard when the baby is born. Now, what's so terrible about that? Nothing. I want you to be with Richard. 
What's so terrible is that you don't care about me. That's not true. I think you're very nice. Besides, I will pay for your help when we get to San Diego. Don't need to. My son is in a strange town. I don't know where he is, and I have to find him. And you've taken over my life for your own purposes. Well, we both have to go to San Diego, senor. We both have to cross the border. What is it with the border? I mean, what's so special about San Diego that they try to keep people out? Very funny. You think that everyone who wants to live in the United States can just walk in? They can't. You never heard of immigration quotas? Anyway. My father would tell the police we stole this car. We'll have to cross the border illegally. Well, how do we get across this uh, border? We'll have to find a coyote. Coyote? Wolf like carnivore? Well, that makes two of us. Well, of course, he's only one day late, so I suppose that's not so unusual. I guess he was right. You are a friend of his. <laughs> Paul and I don't have friends, young man. We don't even have family outside of our work. Uh, oh, he does. He, uh, he's my dad. Well, my condolences. Listen, if you run into him, will you tell him I hired somebody else? Look, I, I think we got off on the wrong foot here. Can we start again? I mean... I can't help you, young man. I have a magazine to get out. All right, uh, look, I know he's gonna be here, okay? We, we were on our way here and we got split up, and he hurt his foot. What, jumping out of a second-story window? Yeah, how'd you know? Oh, because he's jumped out of a lot of windows in his time. Unfortunately, never mind. All right, I just, uh... I'll just have to wait here for him. No, I told you, you can't wait here, kid. I have work to do. All right. I'll wait on front for him. Yeah. Thank you. I don't think you should attempt it, senora. It is much too dangerous, especially in her condition. For once in your life, Tonita, listen to what people are telling you. You can't solve every problem by just charging straight ahead. Were you there when your child was born? No. Then you don't know what I'm talking about. Do you know someone who can get us across without fail? No, senora. Someone we could trust? Come with me. Adon Mercado, esta gente quiere verlo. Hello. How may I be of service? We have to get to San Diego. I see. Naturally, we would prefer to go the usual way, but certain complications. Keep Please, happening. there is no need to explain. I understand completely. Then you'll help us. Of course. 
And I am sure you understand that the resolution of these complications involves some uh, risks. I assume these risks have a price? <laughs> a regrettable reality. I understand. I have these. Oh, no, senora. Please, you insult me. By morning, we will be in the north. I leave it to you to set the worth of my humble services. Thank you. Tonito, I, um, I don't think this is a good idea. Leave it to me. Begging your pardon, senora. Your friend is right to question. I must warn you, senor. There are very evil people who perform the same services I do. Still, you could try another place or someone else, but uh, I understood there was an urgency. I'm sure we are in safe hands. You'll be most kind, senor. Gracias. Until sunset, then. Come with me. I will show you a place where you can rest until sunset. Who are all these people? I thought we were going alone. Well, uh, you wanted to leave immediately, senora, and these people have been waiting for days. No, there must be a mistake. I am paying senor Delgado for myself and for senor Forrester. These people will have to make their own arrangements. No mistake, senora. These people have made their own arrangements with Don Delgado, just like you have. You don't understand. Tell Senor Delgado that I want special service. I'm going to San Diego to be with my husband, not to pick grapes for no money. I will not be treated like Tomita, a... Tomita, I think you should stop talking. What do you mean? I mean, that's enough. These people want to get across the border as badly as we do. It's not their fault they don't have jade necklaces. <laughs> Quieres sopa? Gracias. for soda. Six five cents. That's, uh, that's close enough. Wait a minute. Effie, have me one, then. Listen, I'm, uh, trying out this new brand of hot dog. Uh, why don't you try one? Tell me what you think. Thanks. No, 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 no. You're a very strange human being, Senor Forrester. You're the same to everyone. To me, to those campesinos, to the men in the tavern. You have only one face. Well, <clears throat> you only need one face. <laughs> buenas, buenas. Listos a dar un paseito? Vamos. <laughs> Tranquilos, esta noche es la perfecta para cruzar porque va a haber luna llena. Les ruego obedecer mis órdenes, andar juntos y mantener silencio siempre. 
You said that tonight would be a perfect night to travel because of the full moon. But that we have to be very quiet. Yes. Senor Delgado will get us through. By morning, we will be away from these people. I will be with Richard, and we will have the baby. Tonita, why do you keep calling the others these people? Aren't we all people? Of course we are. But I have nothing in common with them. What about with me? You're different. You and I are more alike, I think. Don't you see? Don't you see that? Tonight, we'll all be the same. We'll all face the danger together. No, that does not make us the same. And one other thing. We'll all be afraid together. No. Vámonos. ¿Está bien? Sí. ¿Te puedo ayudar? No, no estoy bien. Oh. Senor Ruiz, you are a man of many faces. Him first. I'm thinking. Why don't you just hand me your gun? <gasps> oh, you animals! Go ahead! Shoot him!
Last night, we were all the same. We were all afraid. Everyone but you. Oh, me too. The blue light. I saw the magic blue light. Is that why you're not afraid? Hello? Uh, be down in a sec. Are you Richard Billings? Yeah, hi. Uh, you with the freight company? Everything's okay, isn't it? I'm a friend of Tonita Cordova. I don't know who you are, mister, but I haven't seen or heard from her in a long time. I've been out of the country for six months. Whatever the problem is, I'm sure Senor Cordova will straighten it out. I'm here about Tonita, not about her father. She needs you. Oh, what's wrong? She's going to have a baby. <sighs> a baby? <sighs> We've traveled a long way just to be here with you. 
She's with you? She's here? Janina. Richard. Oh, I'm sorry. It's like this. I wrote to you. No, 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 no. You must lie down now, Signora. It's time. Um, in here. Yes, you have a bed? Don't try to talk now. Um, here. Oh, good. We have to use the floor. Are you to me? Move the mesa. Pillows. Bring pillows. Are you to me? I must tell you what happened. Nothing is the same. Come on. 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 Seeing what I can do. I'm going to help you now to ease the pain. No, no. I am no different than any of these women. This is the pain of having a child. All right. Come in. All right. All right. I'm Push now. I'm here to do that. Push. All right. Oh, good. Push. It's coming. Yes. Push. It's coming. Good. Good girl. Oh, it's a girl. Oh, it's a girl. It's a girl. Beautiful. Thank you, Angela, for everything. You should pick a name. I like Paula for a first name. And for a last name, I like yours, I think. Your father will be angry. <laughs> You'll be angry. But we have to think of our own family now. Is this what you meant when you said nothing was the same? The baby is part of it, but... But there's something else. Something happened to me on the way here. I can't explain it. But I know I'm not the same person. Do you understand? I understand my love now more than ever. And I love this new person, too. Rest now, both of you. I'm not sure what happened. But right now, I'm so happy I don't care. I would like to thank you for whatever it was you did. Happy birthday. <laughs> That's right. I'm gonna get some wine and we're gonna toast my new family. <laughs> Do you understand? When I became a father, everything changed for me. But I didn't know it for a long time. You know it already. I have to go now. To be with your son? Will you be all right? I have my family with me. Crying? 
Me? No. No, uh, I just said something in my eyes. It's okay now, though. Oh, good. Wow. Well, what have you been doing the last couple of days? Nothing. Uh, nothing. i just been hanging around here. I knew you'd show up. <laughs> what about you? Mostly just trying to get back. Well, uh, what do you say we go see about that job now? Uh, I saw her go in there a little while ago. I met her yesterday. I think I'm kind of losing track. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure she hasn't given the job to anyone else because I... Hey, Scott. I, yeah? I missed you. I was worried about you. You too. <laughs> I should probably head my head examined for this, but there you go. You know, you are the only photographer I know who has the guts to be two days late for an assignment and still demand a cash advance. Yeah, it's for expenses and everything. Uh, we'll keep record of it. <laughs> Forget it. Some things never change. People do. I'm not the same man that you knew. Oh, settling down, are you? <laughs> That's part of it. Uh-huh. You mean no more running around the world at the drop of a hat and uh, no more jumping out of windows just one step ahead of whatever? No. <laughs> <laughs> you do still remember how to use a camera. Sure. <laughs> Some things never change. What is it? Ida, there's a George Fox here to see you. Oh, uh, okay, just a minute. Hey! 